and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for being subscribed and for coming back for this video in today's video i'm going to be talking about tips on how to improve your sewing skills so if this is something you want to learn if this is something you want to um you know know about please keep on watching and while you are at this please don't forget to like this video um don't forget to um comment if you have a question after this video please give me your question in the comment section or you have extra thing to add maybe something you feel that um we should know you should also add it in the comment section also if you're not yet subscribed to this channel please make sure to subscribe and also you can share this video to your soulmate or to anyone you know who is going to need this video okay let's just get right into this video so before i go into these tips i'm first of all going to say this out there i'm not like a professional professional in what i am doing in sewing i'm not like the best of every um the best of all but i'm just saying this based on what i know i feel like um at the, i'm at a place where i can give advice to someone who is just starting up okay so like if you don't know we are all learning i'm still learning even the big designers out there they are still learning i still make mistakes sometimes but the best part of it is that i get to you know learn from my mistakes all right so don't feel like you are way way behind or you can never you know get to a place where you are able to make something and you are boldly putting it on like i am putting on this beautiful dress here i made this and there i have a tutorial on my channel i'm going to leave the link to the video in my description box so if you're interested in seeing how i made this beauty here please go and check in my description box i'm going to leave it there i'm going to leave the link to the video there all right okay so that aside let's get right into the video so the number one tip i'm going to give to you to improve your sewing skill is be patient it's as simple as that be patient so you are learning how to sew and um you are finding it hard um, you are finding it hard i'm gonna say just be patient be calm follow each step any step you're supposed to take follow it gradually don't skip steps don't be like oh please i want to make this thing very fast so you skip steps don't do that be patient follow each and every step you are given to follow okay yeah the number two tip I have for you is learn from your mistakes or errors. This is just when you make an outfit and you find out that you know you make mistakes, you make errors. Note, take note of where um, the mistake is or the error. Take note of it, and the way I'm making the next one, you already know that I'm not supposed to do this. I'm supposed to do it the other way around. This way, you are learning from your mistakes. Okay. The number three tip I'm going to give to you is excuse me don't abandon projects let's say for instance i'm making an outfit and you get to a point where you are finding this outfit very difficult you are confused you are you don't know what next to do my advice is that you don't leave that project and jump into another project but from my own experience i'm not coming back to that project again when, once i have abandoned that project i'm not coming back to, i'm not coming back to it because i've already moved on to something else and even if i say okay let me come back to it i'm going to be confused you're going to be confused you'll be confused like where did you stop how are you doing this how many inches allowance did you even add to this thing a lot of things you don't even remember and now you are even more confused and you're not like okay whatever you just abandon the project forever forever so don't abandon project if you find out that something is getting more difficult to make please make sure to complete that project to complete it first before moving into something else because trust me you will not even want to you would not even want to come back to it because now you're like i don't even know what i was doing before so the number four tip is be consistent now i started hearing this word consistency right from when i joined youtube in on youtube hair consistency is like one of the key things that i preached and i believe that consistency is one of the um ways to achieve success consistency is one of the keys to success right consistency in everything like in everything anyone is doing both in business in career in whatsoever i i believe you need consistency even with your work with god you are trying to get closer to god consistency is key you have to be consistent you have to keep doing it every day even when it seems like it's not fun even when it seems like you don't know what you are doing just be consistent with what you are doing consistently you know making outfits don't lag behind because because when you're like okay let me just take a break before you know it you're taking longer breaks and before you know it 
you have even kind of forgotten the things that you knew before right so be consistent especially as a learner as a beginner be consistent consistently doing what you are doing okay now the, um, the fifth tip i have here is start with um beginner friendly projects start with easy projects there are outfits that are um, you know very easy very simple very simplified especially for beginners you are a beginner i would not advise you to jump into outfits that are very complicated let's say for instance you're a beginner and then you see a very beautiful corset and you're like oh i want to make this corset my dear you're going to be confused you will end up angry confused bitter fast you even feel like oh no i'm a failure i cannot even do this sewing so thing but that is wrong you are so wrong that's why that is why i said start with beginner friendly outfits start with easy projects there are so many projects out there there are so many um there are some outfits out there that as a beginner it is very easy in fact i would advise every beginner to start with for instance skirts skirts are very very easy um, you know outfits to make like pencil skirts you know pencil skirts without lining pencil skirt with lining gathered skirts pleated skirts flay skirts you know all all manner of designs of skirts and why is this beginner friendly because it is very easy to make i mean you just need like um three or four measurements to make this and it's just like one way <laughs> one way kind of thing and i have videos on all of this i have video on how to make a pencil skirt without lining i have a video on how to make pencil skirt with lining i have a video on how to make um pleated skirts gathered skirts i don't have a, um, a video yet on how to uh, make um a flay skirt but this skirt that i've listed that i have i'm going to leave all of them in the description box so that if you're interested as a beginner to learn any of these or all of these you can easily go to my description box check it out or even go to my playlist um, you know check out my videos and you can learn how to make these skirts I very easy very cute very nice you know and one of the reasons why I said start with beginner friendly outfits is because I remember um, as a beginner there was one time I saw um, jumpsuits like I really 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 wanted to have a jumpsuit for myself and then I had not even learned how to make simple pants like simple trousers but I really wanted to have a jumpsuit and what did I do I went ahead watched one or two videos and then I started cutting my jumpsuit I already cut everything did everything and at the at the middle of the whole sewing, I found out that this thing is so messed up. Like I'm, I don't even know how I got to this point, but the mess up I mean is that the mess up started from the drafting of the pattern of the trousers. So like it was already a mess, and because of that, I feared making trousers because now I'm like, oh no, I, I don't know how to make trousers. I see why I said as a beginner, you don't start with very complicated or hard project like making a corset you are going to be confused you will feel like you don't know what you are doing you feel like this same thing is not for me that's why i said start from beginner friendly projects so but because of but because i'm like no i have to do this i have to learn how to make trousers so i started trying out different patterns and now i can boldly say i know how to make trousers all right so yeah start with um beginner friendly projects and let me say for instance I did not just jump into um, to making a jumpsuit because what I would have done was to first learn how to make a trouser before I'm like okay now I have to combine the top with the trousers to make a jumpsuit but no I just jumped into jumpsuits at the time and I found myself like hopeless <laughs> I found myself uh, um, think, thinking to myself like are you sure this thing is for you because you can't even make a simple trousers so yeah start from beginner friendly um projects and then keep climbing keep learning keep being consistent and you are good to go now the number six tip i have is don't stop learning keep learning learn every day learn 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 now i'm going to say this i think i've said this before on my channel youtube is one of the best things that have happened to this generation <laughs> like i know so many people that have started businesses you know um making maybe baking sewing doing one thing or the other not because they went to school to pay and then learn the skill just that they watch youtube videos they learn from youtube and they're out there making whatever they sell so i would say learn every day youtube is a place where you can learn practically everything especially on on on, on like for example on sewing like when you, you want to learn how to cut a sleeve, it's on YouTube. Once you learn, what do you want to learn how to make that start on YouTube? Everything is literally on YouTube. And I'm also going to say this that 
when I started when I started sewing, um, when I went to learn how to sew, I would say that ninety percent of things I know now are like the things I learned on YouTube here. Not 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 what I was taught. I didn't go to a fashion school. I went to like um, should I say being an apprentice, like you know a shop where they sew, and then I'm there trying to learn. So I would say that. The main things I learned there was just how to pedal, how to use the sewing machine and all of that. But the main things, like the things I know now, 90% of them is from YouTube. I want to learn, I browse it, I, I, I see videos, I watch videos and I know how to do it. So I would say keep learning. Let me say your favorite, um, your favorite con um, sewing content creator uploads a new thing. Try to watch it because even if it's something as simple as how to make or cut a simple pencil skirt, you know there are um, different ways keep coming up all the time. She might even use a new method, simpler method, easier method. So keep learning. Don't stop learning. Okay, even the big, the big designers are there. They are still learning. They are still learning and. New things we keep coming up for people to keep learning. So keep learning, don't stop learning. The seventh, the seventh tip I have to give you is cross check your patterns before you cut. I know how excited you are, especially as beginners. I know how excited I always was whenever I am, you know, creating a pattern and I want to quick. I just want to quickly cut it and start sewing so I will know I will see the end result. But what I will tell you is after drafting a pattern, after drafting a pattern, my advice for you is that you go back. I'll start from the beginning to check, cross check, recalculate, um, recalculate your bust measurements, recalculate your waist, like make sure to go through everything. Even if it's two times, just make sure you are not making any mistake before you cut. Because once you make mistake in your pattern drafting, especially if you are cutting directly on your fabric, even if you are cutting on your on, on a brown paper or a pattern paper, once you have put places on the fabric and you have cut, that is it. You can't you can't really make any adjustment to it. So I would say always, always, always go through your pattern before you cut. Make um, um, uh, make adjustments where need be. Um, cross check to make sure that you you are yeah you, you know putting the accurate your accurate the accurate measurements. Make sure you are not missing anything. So as a beginner, you ha you want to do this over like at least two times. I'm not even joking. Make go through it at least two times before you put the scissors to cut it. Okay. Now, the number eight tip I have is learn your sewing machine. And yes, this is very, 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 very important because when maybe you are you are you are, you are done going through your drafting and everything is perfect, you have even cut on your fabric, everything is going smoothly, and now you are about to use your sewing machine to sew, and now your sewing machine is messing up. So that's why I said learn your sewing machine. Because I, I believe that as a beginner, um, as someone who is trying to learn how to sew, you already have the sewing machine. So, especially if you're using a manual sewing machine, I'm not so sure about uh, the electrical sewing machine. But for manual sewing machine, you have to learn the kind of needle you need for that sewing machine. You have to learn the kind of shuttle that fits the sewing machine. You have to learn the size of the ruler. You know, you have to learn all these things. You have to make sure that the sewing machine is greased, like oiled and you know properly taken care of so because if these things are not in place you are going to be frustrated if you are trying when you are if when you are trying to sew and your sewing machine is not giving you good um good seam right like this the seam is not coming out well you are going to be frustrated or you're just having issues like you're just going to be frustrated so before you even sew take a piece of um, a piece of um fabric that you're not using put it and sew on it so like three lines on it to make sure and then check both the front and the back to make sure that your sewing machine that it's sewing properly do you understand what i'm saying just learn your sewing machine learn how to properly take care of your sewing machine learn how to thread your sewing machine whether you're using um the manual sewing machine or the electrical um, sewing machine learn all these things about the sewing machine for effective use of your sewing machine okay last tip that i have for you is get god involved all right um if you are trying to learn how to sew to monetize this maybe you want to be a fashion designer or something like that i would say get god involved i'm a christian and i believe in putting god in everything that i do all right so these are all the things that i want to you know let you know the tips that i have for you 
as a beginner to improve your sewing skills and thank you so much for watching this video if you have watched this video to this place please remember please remember to like this video remember to share remember to leave a comment um you can ask a question or you know add your own contribution and if you have um also remember to subscribe to this channel if you have if you are not yet subscribed and also remember to turn on the bell beside the subscription box you see there's a bell beside it click on it to turn on your bell you know click on that bell so that you get notified each time i upload any video and with that i'm going to say thank you and bye